Hello and welcome to Herman's RV Holidays. I'm Ads and this is Zoe. <laughs> it is, yes. You can look at the camera if you like. I was looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> so in today's episode, uh, we would like to go back and tell you where it all started for us. Why did we get into motorhoming? Uh, and I guess the videoing as well. Um, so... Why did we do it? Well, we used to work at the same company. You were a receptionist, I was a consultant. Never worked together. Uh, but one day, you left. I to say, yes. In, when was it? 2008. Okay. 2000. Well, end of 2007. Right, was okay. Was it? No, hold on a minute. Back the truck. <laughs> Around 2007, 2008. Uh, and so that meant I had to get a car because Zoe was driving the main car mm. uh, and the car I bought was uh, I think it was an eight years old Toyota MR2 soft top car in other words foldable roof mm. little sports car two seats and no luggage space can probably put a laptop in there but it couldn't put a suitcase no uh, and all the space was just behind the seat, so there's nothing in the front. The, the front is just all plastic, and if you lift the bonnet, the engine's in the back, and the front is just a spare wheel, and that is it. There's yeah, hardly really any worst, space in there. Worst car to get probably. Enough room for a pair, set of keys, I think. Anyway, mm. why I say that is because I had this idea that driving around with the roof down is just an amazing feeling. If you've tried it, you know what I've, uh, you know what I mean. Uh, and I felt I had this idea, this urge to go travelling, go on a tour, a two-week holiday, mm. <laughs> two-week holiday, in the car, camping, going around Wales. I just imagined driving around the mountains, around those little roads that they had, the windy roads, going around the roads with the wind in our hair tent in the back but of course we didn't have any space and I thought <laughs> well I thought about it for a while I thought well I could actually tow tow some tow a little trailer yes uh, and uh, put tent and stuff and all that anyway that idea kind of blew over because that was a rubbish idea mm. uh, and at the time we started um, doing a bit of camping didn't we, we bought a tent uh, went to the New Forest went to the New Forest a couple of times mm. the first day was the first weekend was a uh, complete washout we had water a little stream running <laughs> through the mm. tent it was quite we took so much stuff with us didn't we yeah. as well so we went camping twice i think in that tent that mm. we bought and we still have uh and then i guess it's a bit too small we thought it? ourselves about using a motorhome we, I, we don't think we want i don't think we wanted to tow anything we have no idea about t t towing mm. something so we thought about hiring a motorhome and going travelling in that and there so was what your we had, idea wasn't it so really? what we decided to do was uh, yeah rent and we rented from just go who are in luton right next door to the airport and uh, we we basically went straight across the country into wales uh, m40 yes and then we we went to tembi i mean i've been to tembi before when i was a kid i don't remember any of it no but it was such a noisy helicopter going over right now <laughs> but anyway yeah, it was such a great we had such a great time we had, that was the time when we when we learned a few things yes yeah, so such as very cleaning to the it, toilet how to sort out you know turn the gas on all these simple things that mm. we take for granted now mm. Mm. and you, you still don't know how to use, clean the toilet do you well, clean, I, empty I think the cassette. in a way it's quite good not to know how to clean the toilet <laughs> isn't it because then you don't get roped into doing it <laughs> roped into doing it well okay no i do know how to do it it's just um i'm busy with other things right okay yeah <laughs> <coughs> uh yeah so we went to tembe went to st david's down that coast area wasn't it and really? i just had a look at the map of uh, okay. where yeah i just had a look to figure out where was it we went hmm. and it and but looking at it, it looks amazing. I think we need to go back there. Yes. To be quite honest. Yes. Because it's all if, all that coast there is just we were amazing. We're probably con con concentrating more on the motor, weren't we? And yeah, how to use that. So I guess my dream of touring Wales was kind of done mm. on that two-week holiday. Yes. 
Uh, and then, um, so we thought, what are we going to do next year, the following year, which would have been 2008, 2009, maybe, mm. I don't know. Mm. Uh, and then we decided we wanted to go to Scotland, do the same thing in Scotland. Um, but with this, just this time we hired from a company, well, it was just run by one person. Yes. And his name was Ed. Yes. And that was all we know about the company. Yeah, was was it? Did he have a company I'm name? I'm sure he Probably did. did. Yeah. But we picked that up in Birmingham, I think, somewhere around Birmingham, bit, on yes. our way to Scotland. It wasn't very well organised, was it? It was um, a bit sort of hit and miss, because we had, didn't we have to pick it up at the side of the road? and. No, we picked it up from... Um, a field? Picked up from a, yeah, a field. Yeah, a so farmyard or something. Proper motor no. home company. I don't but uh, anyway, we we went into Scotland. Uh, we didn't go far into Scotland. No, we went to Edinburgh. It did take us quite a while, didn't it? To yeah, I can't there. remember. But that was another learning exercise, mm, I think. Yes, it's always been we, learning uh, curves. I remember it? having a bit of an accident in not a motor accident, but a bit of a toilet accident with oh. a cassette. Yes, in Edinburgh. I remember that well. He hadn't put the cassette all the way there's in. all this liquid all over the place, wasn't it? Oh, it was pee, wasn't it? Well, I know it was. That's what I'm going <laughs> to So it was all word. seeping out all around yeah. the cassette. Anyway, I had to clear that out. And luckily the chap had a cloth, didn't he? Or a yeah, it's one reception. of our neighbours there. Yeah. But uh, anyway, then um, we had another Just Go trip. So Just mm. Go, a big franchise mm. in, in New, uh, New Zealand as well as over here, and they got like... 40 or 50 motorhomes that you can rent, all different shapes and sizes. Uh, they contacted us and many other people uh, about going on a, a take, getting some motorhomes, a brand new set of motorhomes, by picking them up from Italy. Yeah. And then driving them back to Luton. So really you're doing them a favour, aren't doing you? Doing them a, a favour. Well, they'll have to do it. Yes, but they kind but of make a bit of 40 money. 40 is quite well. a lot for people going backwards and forwards so they they ask previous people who have used their motorhomes uh to come along mm. and so we got a huge discount yes got 300 uh, pound wasn't it for yeah, 10 days it was quite um the flight and the yeah that motel. included the flight and the ferry Insurance. crossing yeah everything really wasn't it, it? it was yeah. just the petrol and petrol and your food yeah and of course it gave you the uh you know, you didn't have to drive to it. So if we had to do it now, if we wanted to do it now, yes. we wanted to go and see Italy, you we'd have to... Four weeks, wouldn't you, really? Yeah, we'd have to, to get there and then come back. You know, so it's by the time you get there, it's the end of your holiday and you're going to be coming mm. back straight away. So... That was quite good, wasn't it? You could fly there and Yeah, that's right, yeah. Come back. That was really good. And we visit, you know, just uh, made our way back in two weeks, which is plenty of time. Mm. Great holiday, great... Mm, was. Um, opportunity. To, to do that, then I thought we must have got the bug then, that was been our third, <laughs> and we yes. were thinking about um, buying our own Yes, I think we'd done it enough, hadn't we? I think sometimes you can do it to death, can't you? So we thought, right, we've done enough of the hiring. Well, it, got, it was a bit expensive, isn't it, really? It's like yes. It's like £600 for two weeks, and that's without fuel. Yes. So it can be expensive, but I thought I think what got us going about it was that problem with hiring is you have to book time, you you book your holiday of course and with work and you book your time you with the company kind of, um, and you have to go and pick it move up around quicker, don't you? And you have to clean it spotlessly, but you know mm. all these things that they all these little rules they put in uh, so they can move the motorhome for, get rid of motorhome ready for the next time mm. for somebody else. But we wanted to, we had the idea of going away at weekends and uh, at a drop of a hat, you know, yes. it might be a really terrible week with the weather and then we look at the weather on the Thursday and it's going to be a brilliant we uh, weekend. Mm. So we thought it'd be good mm. if we bought our own motorhome. <laughs> yeah. We did look around quite a few, didn't we? We did, yes. It's very difficult, some, isn't it? Some uh, motorhome shows. Yes. Uh, there was some place up, up in Peterborough, I think. I can't and then we remember. looked to the local motorhome yeah. um, garages, didn't we? And so a lot of them were like, a lot of the ones I remember were like wrong. Mm. Uh, it took us a while, kind of, didn't yeah. it, to find what we wanted. They, they weren't perfect for us. And of course, we, because we rented a few times, ge generally they're the same shape, aren't they, inside? Mm. You know, mm. A big bed at the back with a corner cut off. Um, 
but we had some idea and your father gave yeah. us the idea yeah so i wonder how he knew about them i well, don't know why he so uh way back then zoe's family your family i'm talking to you yeah you, they went to La Rochelle, you had a, a property in La Rochelle, yes. didn't they? A little um, a house, house as it were. Yeah. holiday getaway kind Yes. And um, so they see motorhomes all the time in France, so they're constantly going backwards and forwards on the motorways. Mm. Oh, that's right, and they so have he's to keep seen seeing the Heimers going backwards and forwards. Yeah. Yes. And he said, well, why don't you get a Heimer? Yes. And I'm thinking... Not that he'd kind of looked inside or no. knew what they were like, he just... So like the Rolls the Royce road. of motorhomes. Hmm. That's I guess he's, he's come from come from that yes. idea. Yes, but we always imagined they were a bit out of our price range. Yeah, we thought they were going to be really expensive. But then they they well, are. They are. If right. you get motorhome is you not are. cheap. No, depending on the age, you can get one for like probably five thousand uh, pounds, probably even cheaper than that, and you expect it to be probably a bit mm. rotten. Things not working. Yes. A bit of dampness getting in there. And I'm well, talking about like Heimers. Car, I'm talking about all it? motorhomes. Yeah, it's a bit like cars. Mm. Uh, but uh, so you you can buy a motorhome with any budget really I think you can mm. even make one right so out of a out of an old van yes. right so um, but we thought Heimer would be really expensive yes we did and we had a budget mm. and uh, and we can't I was thinking about this earlier we were talking about this like and a few also, days ago yes where are we going to store it and oh yeah that's the other thing yes but you come across one that was uh, dealer up the road. in I'd... Woking, wasn't it? Yes. And I can't. We can't remember why she was, why you were there. No. <laughs> but I remember you getting <laughs> phoning me up saying, "Oh, I've just seen a uh, a Heimer." Mm. So we looked at this Heimer. Um, it was an N Reg. It was an N Reg. It? it was left hand drive. And there was a, um... Kilometers. And we loved it, yes. but it was because of those last three things. Left hand drive. Oh. Yeah, and then we saw that one next to it, didn't mm. we? Which was lovely. The but was Swift bit, Bolero. Bit too big, yeah. Bit no, big. Bolero, Bolero, Bolero. No, Bolero. Bolero. Yeah. <laughs> Huge thing. It mm. was like three meters wide. It wouldn't have been practical. It would. Have, would it? it was it, no. It was too big. It was yeah. massive, mm. width-wise. Yes. Because but it, was it wouldn't get looking. through gates, no. farm gates. It would not get through no. those. We've realised that now. But, but it was gorgeous, and it mm. was cherry inside. Uh, the uh, the bathroom was right at the back. Mm. Took up the whole back there. Yes, didn't it? Quite, quite whole width. And um, I got some photographs. I might add some photographs to this video if I remember and if I can find them. Mm. Um, but yeah, it was it was amazing. And it was a very good price, wasn't it? There was only one door though, if I remember. <laughs> oh, and this seating area was a bit weird. Mm. It was a little, a tiny, about the size of this seat here, and there's an L shape. It was a bit weird. Yes, well, but yeah, it, it wasn't was, quite right. That was our first choice, wasn't it? Mm. But I think what put us off was the fact that it only had one door and the size and of And the it. actual um, kitchen wood wasn't very good, was it? It was a bit, it wasn't very well made, would you say? I can't remember no. now can't remember but we did manage to get a look into the uh, the b564 next door mm. and we I remember yes. being blown out so that evening we thought well okay this is this is within our budget I think it was like 16 or 17 thousand mm. pounds within our which is a lot of money yes we for a sure whether we wanted to do it or Enridge not. that would probably have been like 20 years old 30, 20 years old so like that um, but you know we're on eBay mm. Uh, and had a look, and then we found found this newer British oh, right hand drive with the miles rather than the kilometres an hour uh, on eBay mm. in, in, near the New Forest, and that was a uh, little lemon. <laughs> <laughs> we had to go to the pub to discuss. Oh yeah, it? that's right. Was it the we fox? Were, we were still unsure whether we wanted to. Um... And it was it was funny, wasn't it? The mm. guy there who was selling it, he. Um, well, he wasn't selling it, it was his wife's And she'd gone home. away. She'd gone daughters. away with the daughters, yeah. It, this is what he was telling us. He wanted to go and get some beer, so he left us there, didn't he, on his oh, drive? Oh, that's right, he was getting a bit um, was sozzled, like... <laughs> wasn't he? It was a lovely he day. Just disappeared, he just disappeared, didn't yeah. he? Left us with the house. Very relaxed. Big house, big driveway, motorhome on it. Yeah. With the keys, we could have just buggered off. Yeah, <laughs> but that was quite a nice opportunity to have a look, wasn't it? And Without take him. our yeah. time, Not yeah. Like he was 
breathing down. No, it, not it was, at all. But uh, yeah, so then we came back and we went out for some. We dinner, thought we didn't lunch. want to go all the way home, have a think about mm, it, did we? Because yeah. we thought we, if we're going to do it, we're going to do it now and then. What was that place called where we ate? It was at the Fox. Something like that. In mm. Eastley. Eastley. Is it along the M3 towards New Forest? Just before we get mm, to New Forest. Nice pub. Every time we uh, go by it on, on the way to mm. New Forest, you feel it. Herman <laughs> pulling over to the trying to want to come off and see his no. old mum and d oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just you. Yeah. Well, we always joked about that, we didn't do, we? Yeah. yeah. Uh, but um, yeah, so that was Herman. That was 2010, I think. Mm. Uh, and then we yes had a, went to the New Forest, didn't we? In um, what was it well, called? Our first time out in, yes. in Herman. Yeah, New Forest. Holmesy. Holmesy, and we were discussing what we were going to call him mm. or her. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we had yeah. quite a number of names. And there's a video on, to do with that one. Oh, yes, we've got a video on that. We've got a video for everything. Um, so the videoing, you've got videoing. Yeah. Video, my videoing started way back then. Yes, it's been going a long time. My video, I, my very first camera, how old was I? About 25? <laughs> No, no, say, it wasn't. I was going to say 15. No, I must have been about tw uh, 18, 19, 20, something mm. like that. This camera was this big. And it was great because it had all the fun. It had, um, I think it cost me £600, which is a lot of money for someone who's just started work. Mm. And uh, it had a focusing ring. It actually focused. You don't get that on video cameras anymore. No. If you actually could focus it manually, zoom it, manual zoom. It was great. It was 8mm cassette. And uh, it's all on video now, and I'm, I haven't got a way of putting it onto uh, uh, onto YouTube at all. But um, that happened way, way back. I suppose like the '90s, something like that. And I just started getting, uh, just started making silly videos uh, here and there. And then I stopped because I fit. I found that making a video while on holiday mm. made me not think about the holiday, I was yes, concentrating and looking through the lens all the time. It was like when we went to on the Just Go one, wasn't it? You were so concentrated on doing the video, you didn't see all the, what was going on. Yeah, the so life and that's something you need to consider when you're doing videos. Well, I, I have to. It's like, okay, let's put the camera away. Mm. But um, and then we st stopped, and then when we do started doing the motorhoming again, we made well no i think we went to kenya once was that 28 2008 oh gosh that was a long time ago I started doing videos then as well Ooh, i've made it the safari remember the safari mm. we went on uh started doing you know basically filming rather than taking photographs yeah i guess i caught the bug again mm. um yeah so i'm trying to think what other things i did without before youtube and stuff but, um, Probably just taking photos, wasn't it, with a camera? I do remember a time, around about this same time actually, where we were at Windsor, uh, it's a car show, we're just about, we driving to Windsor, mm. uh, it's not very far, it's about Windsor five miles, ten miles away from Windsor, yeah, going, going through the Great Park there, and there was a car show, and I love my classic cars. And, uh, You've got a video well, of that as well, haven't you? Well, I, I did, <laughs> I, I, ha I do have, yeah, because... I started taking photographs, and I got I got bored. I, I thought, where's my creativity? It's not coming out. I, mm. So I started. Uh, I can't remember what camera I was using. It must have had both, you know, like a camera phone or something. I don't know. Uh, and I started filming them rather than taking shots of them, mm. because you could, you know, do swooping lines along, uh, swoop, swooping shots along the lines of the uh, the cars and you know. You know go into the middle in the engine the engine bay is all open and nice and glistening and chrome and you can come out like that and pull out so i had these all these ideas that i wanted to show all these cars off uh and i guess i've not really stopped to the dismay of zoe <laughs> <laughs> well sometimes i do think if we go on holiday it'd be quite nice not to you know have videoing but then i suppose it's quite nice as a memory isn't it well, yeah, I think one of my biggest fans is Zoe. Am I? Well, I'm, I might be in the well, no, out I there only... somewhere, and I, can hear, I think, 
I can hear my voice or <laughs> I recognise that music and you're playing a, a well, video. Well I look at it every so often, you know, I might have a look at a few but I don't, not every day. Have you often. subscribed yet? I haven't, no. Have you hit that notification? I don't need to subscribe, do I? You give them a thumbs up. If I'm in it. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I guess, but do you remember when we bought Herman, we bought Herman but also we got that email again from just go. Just go must be must have been doing it. I don't know if they still do. Doing it every year of. Uh, oh yeah, they did it this year, didn't they? They did I it did this year. Yeah, in on April. Facebook, but, but they. Um, in April. There's another one in April, I think. That people but, were going round. Yeah. So we had the opportunity of doing the uh, just go, picking up the motorhomes, uh, again. So they must renew their fleet every year. Yeah. So their motorhomes don't get too old, and then they can sell them on. Yeah. Uh, and uh, they had this competition, so they had seen our previous video that what I made. Mm, they gave them an idea. Yeah, of, of the trip that we'd gone on, and they yeah. gave, gave them the idea. So the competition was who could make the. There's a whole number of categories yes. in there, but who could you make the, a, a, of the best video? video. Didn't you? And yeah, the name the video, named the team that made the you video. You had to go through so many countries, wasn't yeah, it, as well? most countries you can go to. We went through five countries. Mm. Our team was A and to Z. So many. A, Z, like as in an atlas as well. Yeah. And what so else many was likes. Oh, so many likes on Facebook. And mm, which was number. hard going, wasn't mm. it? Because... Oh, music, you had to put music to mm. it. So, yeah, so I won that competition, didn't mm. I? You did. <laughs> I don't want to brag, but it was a good video, I but thought. But what the funny thing was, they said, oh, we'll come to... No, no, you, we went to see them, didn't we, to pick up the prize. Yeah. Drove, I won an iPad, that first one, the number drove one. two one hours, one. didn't we? And then when they opened the box, there was nothing in it. Yeah. So we came back empty-handed, Yeah, we? went all the way to Luton. Yeah. They said, I'm oh, sorry, Adam, but... Um, it's been cool. Your prize, your prize is not in the box. Yeah. So to save further embarrassment, they came here, yeah, they didn't came they, here, with yeah. it? Yeah. But yes. And you had that wild, didn't you, that laptop? iPad. iPad, sorry. Yeah, I dropped mm. it too many times mm. and uh, that's, that's it. the yeah, screen that wouldn't come good. on. Yeah, it, it was, was good. interesting, wasn't it, doing mm. the Just Go? The thing I learned from that, uh, that we had to do it in two weeks' time because uh, <laughs> that video. Mm. for that competition the date the end date or the hand in date was uh, like a week after we come back and I thought I'm no no way am I going to be able to edit that video in that time uh, so I took my laptop with you me you did it as yes and I did it along. as I was going so I had my piece of music in mind mm. but after the like second or third day I knew in the song what part of the video was coming up yeah uh, sorry what part of the song was coming up uh, it was Queen. I don't don't stop me now. Mm. And you know, got to the chorus. Okay, we're singing "Don't Stop Me Now." So I got. I said, right. Imagine you're singing the song, and then we're going to sing the song to the camera. Yeah. Of course, I think put our singing in it, but we lip synced to the song, which was great. I thought mm. it was like, wow, this is this is cool. This is working. Mm. So I kind of learnt a few things. So you got that video. Mm. <laughs> and then we had Benjamin, didn't we? The bear sitting in the front. Oh, that was one of the, that yeah, was, that was one of the other competition, uh, sorry, one of the other rules, they had to incorporate, incorporate their, their logo. logo. So we had a t-shirt made up and yeah. uh, a bear yeah. with a t-shirt called yeah. Benjamin. Yes. Yeah. It's all coming back All these now, things we it? had to, uh, mm. it was all advertising for, for them, but, which is fine. I mean, four, five hundred pound laptop, uh, sorry, uh, iPad. iPad. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. Enjoyed doing that. Mm. I enjoyed editing most of my you videos. You do, yes. <sighs> so, um, that's uh, our story of how we got into motorhoming. Quite a long story. Quite a long story. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been a few years now. I don't know where Eight we, years. Uh, yeah, I don't. Well, no, it's longer than that because we started in. Before we got home. Oh, I see home, what you home. mean. Yes, in mm. 2010. Yes, yeah. Yeah. it was before that. Yeah, so probably more like 10 years, isn't it? Yeah, there's a few. I remember just popped into my head just there. There was a few silly rules. Well, now it's silly, but then it's probably for safety reasons. A few silly rules that Just Go had, and that was you can't use chocks, you know, little ramps mm. to put your motorhome on. Uh, and you can't use, uh, you can't use the 
the gas uh, gas fridge. Oh. You remember that? No, I don't remember that. I remember about the shocks, yeah. But the problem was, was as well, because they were well, brand, switch it I can't remember now. brand new motorhomes, that there was quite a few problems, wasn't there, along the way? Mm. You know, we had a problem with well, the... Well, you're going to get that. Yeah, handbrake, and someone had a, a leak, didn't they, in their um, bathroom or something? Yeah. Yes, that's right, tweaking But things. it was some... If you, have, if you ever get the opportunity, certainly try... Uh, do that. Yes. I think, I think uh, carav camp, um, camping and caravan also now doing those tours. They, I saw the advert. Yes. That's what gave us the idea of going to Germany because they had a tour well, going to Germany. Them. Yeah, you've got to have your own unit, haven't you? But yeah, yeah, there was that. Yeah, we missed out on that. I would have liked yeah. to do that one. Maybe next year. Yeah, so I'll have to keep looking. But that looked amazing because that was going to Bavaria, and that was like ten days, which was so ideal. They fly for us. you in and then you drive yeah. home out back to UK. I know, I thought about it and then left it too late. Oh dear. Oh goodness. So anyway. like I said that was our story of um, uh, of our ho motorhoming story with uh, Little Herman and a little snippet of uh, videoing uh, my video history. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, if you did um, give us a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of this kind of nonsense and motorhoming <laughs> tours around uh, Europe, uh, then why not you? Why don't you consider subscribing? And if you do, then don't forget to hit that notification symbol because you'll get a little email when I uh, upload a video. Uh, so until next time, thank you very much for watching. Ready? <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> You are silly. Oh dear. Right. Hit the button, Nancy Dane. Hit the button, Nancy Dane. Mm. Thanks for watching our video. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed or leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe for more video updates or maybe even watch one of our previous videos. Bye bye now.